Today I'm going to show you a take two of how I cook my pilau. I have my ingredients here. I have onions. I've used three onions, a medium sized, and also a, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of pilau masala, a tablespoon of uh, garlic and ginger. And then I have my oil, vegetable oil. And then I have my beef, which is pre-boiled. Pre I have uh, water, it's hot water, then I have my sufuria, then I'll have to preheat my sufuria, yeah, and add in my oil. I'll use enough oil because uh, at least it will show up well in the pilau. Then I add in my onions and stir. Uh, I make sure that I use enough onions because it gives it a very good taste yeah onions are a very uh good uh... then i add in my meat my beef uh star yeah and i make sure that the onions turn and the beef turn brown yeah and as i start i'll uh, add in my bay leaves Bay leaves are a good ingredient to a pilau. You can use it in soups and any other rice dishes. They exhume a herbal taste to your food. Then I continue stirring. And I cut in my bay leaves. Then I'll add in my salt, ginger, and garlic. Then I stir and add in my bay leaves. I'll make sure that the ingredients mix up well. You can see our onions have started turning brown in color. And the beef also. Then after that, I add in my tablespoon of uh, pilau masala. This is also our main ingredient in this dish. Then I add in three and a half cups of water. I'll measure uh, two cups of the pishori rice. Pishori rice is grown in here in Kenya and uh, you do not have to use a lot of water when cooking because it quicks, cooks very quickly. Then I'll add in the a half cup of water that was left. You can see our stew is turning brown in color. Then I add in my rice, my pishori rice. Yeah, slowly. Then I stir. Then I cover my, my pilau to make sure that it boils. And at this stage, I'll prepare a garden style salad to take with the pilau garden is salad is equally called uh, kachumbari here in kenya we have dania which i store in my tupperware you can check out my videos on the importance of using tupperware products yeah it keeps our salad and our fruits and vegetables very fresh uh, in my garden salad i'll use dania uh, I'll cut in my tomatoes. At least I'll use two to three pieces and two onions, medium sized. Then I'll check in on my pilau and stir. At this stage, it has still not yet cooked, so you'll not have to be worried whether it will become mushy. And then I taste my salt so that I make sure I have enough salt in the food because when it is bland, it will not be tasty. Then I cover the lid again and then I have to cut in my uh, onions for the garden salad. I'll cut in small pieces because I don't like having uh, large pieces of onions in my salad. Then I'll 
than the secret of uh, the onions not uh, being bitter they tend to be bitter when you take with your salad i'll put it in hot water and salt and leave it to simmer for a few minutes then i'll check in on my pilau yeah it has started simmering you can see the beef the bay leaves and the other ingredients they are simmering well then i cover the lid again as i said uh, i'll have to put my onions in hot water separately hot salty water and let it uh, stay there for like uh, a minute then i'll cut in my tomatoes in small pieces now you can see our pilau has already simmered yeah i'll keep on turning so that the ingredients mix so well then i'll cover it again and turn off the heat so i'll let my my pilau simmer on its own it will be steaming on its own Then I add salt to my onions and I pour in hot water and let it uh, stay for a while as I finish cutting up my garden salad. <clears throat> I'll chop the dania in small pieces then I'll mix it up with the tomatoes. I usually I I mix this with uh with other uh, vegetables like the cucumber but today I do not have then after that I'll I'll sieve the onions and put it in my salad then I'll mix it up and set it aside as you can see our pilau has steamed up on its own yeah then I add a uh, salt on my salad yeah there is our pilau I'll use a huge fork to turn it up so that it does not stick to the sufuria Yeah, it, it is already dry and it is well cooked. So for this, I'll serve it with a salad and also a vegetable, uh, vegetable of your choice. You can check out on my other videos where you can see the vegetable recipe. Yeah, then I'll have to serve the pilau, the vegetables and the salad. So this, uh, for the bay leaves, you'll have to remove them immediately when you serve because you're not supposed to eat them. They are just used for the, the exuma herbal scent. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel. This food was very tasty. You can try it in your uh, menu. And also uh, check out on our other videos and you'll see a lot of other food uh, recipes that I've done.